Okay, next we're going to have our review exercise 7 solution. And actually, this is the first of several exercises dealing with a normal distribution. The normal distribution is the most important one of, uh, well, most important distribution period and most important continuous distribution for sure. And so we're going to have several exercises dealing with the normal distribution. So here in this one, a random variable x is told to be normal with a mean of 62.75 and standard deviation 3.86. We're going to round our answers to five decimal places. we got some probabilities and inverse probabilities here. Uh, the first three are probability problems. The last two are inverse probability problems. Okay. The only thing we really need to know on our calculator is we're going to use, go to distribution right here, and we're going to use number two, normal CDF to do probabilities. We're going to do number three for the inverse probability problems. Now, you don't have to do this, but this is what I like to do. Uh, well, actually, what I want you to do is, is pause this and work it out yourself and then come back. So do that now. Press pause. Okay, now we're back. Because I was getting to say, what I like to do is I like to go ahead and take this 62.75. When I have one of these guys, I want to store that as M right off the bat. And then I'm going to do the same thing for the standard deviation, 3.8. Eight, six. I'm going to store that as S. So I do that right off the bat. Now I'm going to use M and S, and I don't even have to think about what those numbers are anymore. Now this is a normal distribution. We want a probability. We'd go to second variables for distribution. Choose number two, normal CDF. And I want to go from uh, lower. Okay, let me do one more thing. Before I do this, I might need... On these two here, I need negative infinity and infinity. Well, I can't really do that. So what, I, what I've told you you can use uh, that works just as well is do M minus 10S. And I'm going to store that as L for lower, a lower limit that we can replace instead of negative infinity. And uh, let's pull back the same thing that we just had. Change this to M plus 10S and change it from L to, how about U, for upper. That'll be a good upper limit when we need to go to infinity instead. And if you wanted to round these off, if you'd rather say 24, 25, it's going to be fine, or 101 here, or 102, uh, will be fine. But I've already just done this and let store these. Now, to do A, I need to do a, a, a uh, normal CDF. And it's going from forever left, which is, might as well just be L to an upper limit of where we are, 59, and then tell it M and S there, and we can work that out, and that's the probability. Okay. Uh, I can just do second enter and bring that back up, and I just need to change a couple things. Now, the next one is from 72 up, so the lower limit here is 72. The upper limit is infinity, really, but I'm going to put in U instead. Uh, the number I'd stored is still M and S, and so that's going to give me my normal CDF. That's going to give me my probability for the second one. For the third one, again, I can pull up that entry, and I want to go this time from 60 to 64. So lower is 60. Upper is 64. Let's see, I need to insert the 4 and do that, M and S, and hit enter, and there's the probability there. Now, okay, now what happens next is we, um, we're doing an inverse probability here, and luckily there's a built in shortcut for that, which is number 3, inverse norm. When it says area, it's thinking area to the left of this point underneath the PDF graph. It could have said Y value on the CDF graph to the left, or what I wish it would say is cumulative probability, which is what it is, the probability to the left. Well, on D, the probability that X is less than A is 0 0.01. That means 0 0.01 is the probability to the left. And then we're going to use our, our mean and standard deviation. Notice there's no need to normal uh, standardize this. Uh, because the calculator handles any mean and standard deviation for a normal distribution. And this gives you much better answers and much quicker answers than a, uh, a normal table will. And so there we go. Now, the only wrinkle is on E, whenever I do this, when I do the uh, 
this, I don't want to put in 0 0.05. I want to do 1 minus point, let's insert 0 0.05. Or if I want to do that in my head, that's 0 0.95. And work that out, and there we get it. So here you see the screenshots for what I just did on the calculator. Here they are rounded off to five decimal places.